I usually, I'm very adamant that I tell people, like, I introduce myself to people as a prostitute. And I do that for the sake of visibility and because of the positive impact it has on other people. So my name's Rebel Ray and I'm a prostitute and I'm a sex worker's advocate. <laughs> My role in activism came from enough big slaps in the face, like dealing with the police, dealing with assaults, dealing with assaults by the police. Everybody has horror stories and stuff, and it's all just bad policy. Years ago, I reported a rape from a client I was supposed to be working with, and I just wound up getting arrested. I spent a long time in jail <laughs> for for trying to report a rave, and you just learn better. Like, <laughs> no way I'll deal with the cops. I'll get raped a hundred times before I do. And I'd rather take care of it myself. By decriminalizing sex work, you legitimize sex work as work, and it changes the way that we view and handle the people around us in our everyday lives which includes sex workers. <laughs> All over the world, there are sex workers organizing and coming together to fight to recognize their labor and to have actual tangible laws passed that recognize that. We are a strong and fierce community made up of every color, every race, every identity, every shape, every economy, every religion, and so much more. I want you to see us, the sex worker rights movement as part of the solution and not the problem. The more and more people ignore those, those voices and the more and more people just avoid even trying to have the conversation because it's uncomfortable, the problems just get worse. It does nothing good for anybody to criminalize sex work. The need for decriminalization is dire.